Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Factorio. So, uh, for the stream tonight's uh, next few episodes, um, I have some plans. Uh, the first is number one, I'm going to have to start keeping an eye on. That went quiet all of a sudden. Uh, on my Biter expansion because. Uh, I, I did turn biter expansion on, so we're gonna have to keep an eye on on biters and what they're doing. So you got these guys, these guys. We got all these guys around here. I need to worry about. Uh, don't really need to worry about these guys. I don't think everything's looking pretty good over here. And then yeah, so from the north and from the west, mostly is all we need to worry about. So I'll keep an eye. I uh, uh, keep an eye on the uh, the alerts and stuff. Okay, audio still here. It was just. The song just randomly ended. Okay. The other thing I did was, um, so we've been researching nuclear power and I did a little bit of research, uh, over the past week and I realized <laughs> that getting started with nuclear is like ridiculously like a really long process. So somebody has suggested that I should go ahead and get started with nuclear stuff, uh, because it does take a while and I didn't really understand what that meant, but now I know because the whole like processing of uranium and stuff, it, it's just we're going to build a little bit of uh, something to get started and you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not going to get nuclear set up tonight, but um, it is something we need to start planning on if we're going to get uh, nuclear started soon. Um, I do still plan on going ahead and building up this uh, this ore quarry because uh, we need it now. Um, so that's the first thing on the list. The next thing on the list is to go ahead and get uranium situated. And then uh, later on, um, once we actually get nuclear uh, started and the processing started, um, the thing I did was I went and I found two blueprint books and I'll show you those really, really quick. Uh, this is one of them. Um, if, if you just go and you search or you Google, uh, Factorio nuclear blueprint book or something like that, um, you'll find these blueprints and this is kind of cool. I'm not going to be using this setup, uh, or actually probably any of this setups out of this book now that I've kind of understood how the processing goes. But um, I, I got these books so I could like see a working example and kind of get in there and uh, learn how all that works. So this is uh, the fuel cell processing. We have um, delivery of water if we want to do that. We got some water pumps. We got like offshore pumps, uh, all kinds of cool, interesting uh, piping and water and power and pumping and you know, all that good stuff that's centered around uh, reactors and stuff and there's actually three yeah there's like this super huge reactor that i'm probably not going to be using there's a uh there's a medium one and there's a smaller one which i thought i was oh, there's four yeah i was going to going to look into maybe using these and trying to figure out how all this works but i've decided that i'm not going to go with these blueprints now that i kind of understand how nuclear works uh, i found another blueprint uh that i am actually super excited for it's all oh god like solar farms and stuff, which I probably won't be using. Uh, this is the reason why I want to keep this because there's a power indicator thing uh, that kind of lets you know if there's uh, things that um, the need power we will be using this one probably because because we can. Um, yeah, I think that's good for now. I'll leave that one going. And then uh, the other thing that I picked up. Let's put that down. Uh, the other one I picked up is actually uh, if you guys are familiar with Catherine of the Sky, she does a really good uh, uh, Factorio series. She's got a bunch going on her now. Um, there is a very specific build that she had showcased that uh, I'm going to be using uh, because I don't like I don't have the ratios memorized as far as how many uh, reactors to how many um, heat exchangers to how many turbines and stuff like that. And she has this. Uh, what is it? Two by four with belts and the idea is you can use this right here which has perfect ratios and is based on how far water can go with heat and everything and what you can do is you can actually tile these up and down back and forth uh and it's all belt fed and if you if you put your reactors uh together um you get bonuses as you go so i figure if we could just find a huge area a huge strip where we could plan uh to put power uh, we could probably put the reactors, you know, somewhere uh, they will fit. So kind of excited about that, but we'll get into that later. I know I'm kind of rambling on here. Let's go ahead and get started with the actual work here. Um, <clears throat> Catherine Sky is awesome. Learned a lot from her streams. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she seems like really cool. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to check out more of her content. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm all choked up today for some reason. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and get over here. Let's go ahead and mark this. And then uh, we have some guys above us, some some 
aliens, biters, whatever. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and get some turrets ready because they're going to come for me. Oh, that's a big batch. Careful, some people don't like Catherine or Sketch. Any fake leans? I don't know what you mean by fake leans. <clears throat> and if it's a big, long, long, drawn out explanation, uh, just tell me in Discord. But uh, the the build seems solid for me, from what I can tell. All right, cool. But if it's not, then uh, we'll live and we'll learn, and we will find another build that works. And, uh, figure something else out. I don't know. Taking one lane and splitting it four ways. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's, if it works, it works. I, I, I don't know. I'll, I, how about I worry about that when that time comes? Cause that, that sounds like it's a lot of stuff I don't need to be worried about right now. We're not even ready for nuclear yet. So, and the, uh, the, blueprint, the blueprint I'm looking at actually has no splits. It's literally two, two lines. One for incoming proper cells and one for outgoing spent cells. I think we can work with that. I mean, I went ahead and got the entire blueprint book from her for nuclear stuff, but that one specific blueprint is all I really plan on using. Okay, so let's go ahead and put down some uh, defenses here. Vans are not working on YouTube. Okay, thanks for the heads up. It's starting to get kind of frustrating with the bot. I mean, I like Batismo, but I really wish the commands would just work. And I would stop having to check it every single stream. So it works over on Twitch. That's good. <laughs> oh, really? yeah. I hear you, man. I wonder how close to a thousand hours I am in the game. I need to check that soon. I know I'm getting close. I wonder if I should just go ahead and wall this entire area. Let's go ahead and do that. Because the more that's walled off, the more area I can use later on. Oh, there's some guys there. Might as well. Oh, hi. You guys broke through. Uh, no, I think I just need to refresh my connection. Uh, I'll do that in between episodes. If it doesn't work with the refresh, then uh, then I'll have you message him. If you don't mind. Appreciate you taking the initiative there, but it's very helpful, as usual. Steam says 900, uh, yeah, 901, that sounds about right. I'm getting close to 1,000. All right, so there's another group of biters over here I'm going to have to deal with. Oh, hey, what was that? I did not hit escape. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Good auto save time. Good time for auto save. What's up, Malthorn? Uh, Yeah, it's, it's, it's going all right. Just, just gotta, gotta get in there. Gotta do it. These guys are getting bigger and more intense, so. Oh, not that far. I can't reach that far. 
Oh crap. Does that work? I think it worked. Awesome. Let's get these guys repaired. Uh, well, well out of the usual bounds. It's funny. Um, I, I am working on, uh, getting this area secured so I can get to that iron ore. And I figured I'd go all the way to the shoreline. Should have been everything. Okay. That coal. How are we doing on that coal? Oh, that's that area. Okay, that's fine. And what about this? This is a crude oil that's working its way on being empty. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna have to make some more walls soon. And I think, oh, actually, that will be perfect. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do I have a blueprint where it's like three or four or however many a row? So that way I can just have it all situated already. Oh, so many blueprints that I have. I need to get these organized. No, I do not. Okay, let's go ahead and get that situated. So let's go. Nope, not that far in. I'm going to do a set of four. That way I can line it up. There we go. And then let's get a blueprint. I need to organize my blueprints. I should probably do that with a wall too, you know? That would make sense, wouldn't it? There we go. Sweet. Okay, I know I already have wall, but now that I've made a blueprint, this will be handy for outer defenses. Um, there you go. Yeah, this makes things a lot easier for me. And then once uh, we start having our walls fail, then we'll uh, double up, reinforce all the, uh, the areas that are failing with more turrets and stuff like that. Okay, I'm going to put one more down here just for good measure. Get a fish. What's up, man? Okay, let's go ahead and get some drills, mining, whatever we're going. You know, I could do smeltery up here. I mean, there's enough up here to do it, but that's going to cause a lot of pollution, get a lot of attacks. Uh, let's do more. Let's do more smelting up here because we can. Yeah, let's do that. I'm up for that. Let's let's get my usual. Oh, goodness. I need to organize these so bad. There it is. Let's do that. That'll work. I have to fix some of this stuff down here. It's not lining up just right. Go and then probably just another few. Oh, why did that not line up right? Uh, let's get rid of that. That was not proper at all. Oh, okay, I skipped a space there, it seems. Just fine, I guess. There we go. Hey, there we go. Okay. Try not to do that again. Yeah, this will produce a lot. I'm excited for this. 
I think it'll be awesome. Assuming we have enough drills for all this right now, but we have drills being produced, so it should not be a problem. There we go. Nice. And then I realized this area is way too close to each other. Yeah, that's where I messed up. Got it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> crap. I don't want to do... I don't, I don't want to have a messed up area. It won't take long. No fishies. I do not want the fishies. I have plenty of fishies already. All right. So there's this. There we go. Let's see. That one probably. That one. And then that one should do it. All right, so that should be fine there. Let's go ahead and connect these guys together. Still got double ups here, but it's fine. And that should be almost right. So just need a couple more. It should be fine. And then some additional ones on the end here. Those that are sticking out. And then I'm going to have to do a little bit of work with some landfill. To give enough space for a few more drills to get set up. That's why Swano. But it'll work. It'll be awesome. What's up, Matt? How's it going, buddy? Uh, are you looking forward to playing the DLC of Subnautica? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm excited for that. I just haven't heard anything else about it. Has anything new been uh, announced about that? Because I'm all about trying it out. How did that not work out? Oh, probably because I didn't line it up properly. Oh, well. This is all messed up anyway. <laughs> oh, it looks like uh, Batismo is back online. Good to know. And that's all good. Make sure everything on the right side is all covered like it should be. This guy needs something. It's all good. Yeah, this should all be fine now. Nice. Now the next thing is I need my smeltery. Not that one. I should probably get rid of some of these. I think this one's the one. The one with two, right? Is this even going to fit? <laughs> oh, no. And that comes in from that direction. So. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. So I'm going to have to redo my wall a little bit. Ah, Chris. Hey. And tell Pim I said hello as well. a good idea to start with but I'm going to have to get this figured out before I go make it anything solid and permanent okay so like there's still some wall up here I need to take care of <laughs> man this is a huge build before and when I didn't have to worry about walls it's like I didn't need to worry about space because I had all the space I needed have I checked out Warbler? yeah it looks alright yeah, I don't think it's something I'll be playing on the channel unless you guys request it via poly. 
pulley, whatever. Uh, I think I'm just going to go like this. Yeah, let's do that. Now here comes the fun part. Okay, I freaked out because I saw stuff there, but I, I realized that that's where we took those guys out earlier. Oh, that's not going to be enough space. What am I doing? I'm going to have to continue on down a little bit. And then work my way up. Probably two. Oh, there's guys are there. They're already. Okay, let's just take them out. I need the spaceman. Spaceman. All right. I think we're good there. No, there's one more. That's not going to help me out at all. <laughs> there we go. Well, I got destroyed. Oh, where I was. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, let's put our filter back on so we can pick up back up all those turrets. It's a fairly unknown game. You to be released. Still relatively available and awesome. Good to know. Okay, I think this should be enough, but there's another batch up in the top right corner. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, let's go ahead and take out these guys before anything else. Oh, crap. I remember my long reach isn't as long as I would like it to be. There'll be future upgrades that I can make it a little bit longer, but oh my gosh, there's so many more up there. So many more up here. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Luckily, I'm taking them out before they get bigger. <laughs> Yeah, this is the same map that I've been playing on since I started the series. Absolutely. And it has gotten ridiculous. I completely agree with you on that. So, like, um... Where was it? <laughs> I think... Yeah, so this was my first initial starting area. This was the first iron ore patch that we started with. This was the beginning base. This was the smeltery we started with. Then I started working on over here. Then we started working up here. And now I'm working up here. It's a little bit, a little bit crazy. Dr. Fantasy, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Well, there's another bunch over there. Mine as well, since we're here. And it's a smaller group. I'm running out of ammo. I'm doing pretty good still. Nice. There you guys can go. And it looks like there's some coal up here. I feel like exploring. I'm going to go exploring. I just want to see what's on this area. See if it's like a peninsula or see if it goes out into craziness. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get messy real quick. No, uh, yeah. Okay, so checking out this wall, see how it goes. Keep an eye for, out for biters and trees. Oop. So far, so good. 
There's some copper with some more biters. Oh, and there was a rock. I was looking for biters and not rocks. And we're good. Okay, okay. Fairly easy to uh, fortify, protect, whatever. Are we getting attacked? Ooh. Oh, they're coming down through there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's fine. Okay, let's get all of our turrets back. Where are the rest of my turrets? Oh, didn't mark them apparently. Saw them up on the map, but, uh, wasn't getting any sort of feedback from the bots. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy and just take it up north since we can do that. for me then uh, I'll come back and fill in the rest on the way back down but I want to go ahead and get this wall up on the top right up here the northeast so that way this entire area will be open and I can start using it I just have to defend against the binder nest up here there's gonna be a lot of uh, catching up from where I turned biter expansion on I'm going to try to position it to where it's not so close to the biters where it attracts them, but it's not too far out to where I can go ahead and continue to claim the area. This should be good right here. Thank you, John. I'm going to put that there and then put down another turret just, just there. Just, just right there. Okay, let's go ahead and let all this fill in. I guess I could have swung it over that way. Made a nice little corner, but this is fine for now. Okay, I'm going to drive on over just to save a couple seconds. And why does time fly so fast when I play Factorio? Because we're already getting towards the end of this first episode, and I'm like, yeah, tonight we're going to be working on uranium processing and bots. And it's like, yeah, no, the first episode I'm going to spend entirely working on getting <laughs> uh, freaking ore processing situated. But I guess that's just how the game goes. But we will get into uranium and bots very, very soon. Tonight, even. <laughs> Believe it or not. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these walls situated. Oh yeah, we're uh, 1.5k subs away from the 5,000 giveaway. I'm super excited. We've uh, we hit 3,500 the other day. It's coming along, man. Where are we getting? Okay. So there was something getting attacked, but I don't know where it was coming from. There we go. Nice. And that should be fine over there. So uh, I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. In between episodes, um, I'm going to let the bots take their time and uh, fill all this in. And then once all this gets filled in, I will um, connect all this up at the beginning of next episode, get those trains situated, and then get started with uh, uranium processing. So, uh, guys, let me step away so this doesn't keep, like, ticking while, while I'm talking. 
But guys, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you like what I do, hit the like button. If you want to help my channel grow, guys, share my videos, share my live streams, leave likes, leave comments, all that good stuff. The more you guys participate, the bigger we grow. Definitely want to do that. So appreciate all the support you guys give me every single day. Thank you guys so much. You guys rock. And just a heads up, we got a giveaway going on. So make sure you check the link in the description for more information. So guys, I'll catch you in the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. Take care.